Donald Trump does not like the idea that he's been indicted four times. And he surely does not like the idea that a black woman, Fulton County DA Fannie Willis, is leading the prosecution in Atlanta, Georgia. That means three of the four prosecutors holding him accountable are black. So now he claims he has an irrefutable report to release next week to prove the election was stolen from him. And for some reason, he's been holding on to this alleged exculpatory information for two and a half years and never released it until now. Oh, and he wants to find the riggers, his word, not mine, who stole the election from him. Rigor, please. First of all, there is no irrefutable report. The media should not fall for this scam. It's just like the time he promised a press conference to finally clear the air about President Obama's birth certificate and spent the entire event promoting his campaign. We got played again. And his new DC hotel. Or the time he promised his wife Melania would hold a press conference to answer questions about her immigration status. And she never did. Or the first time he was indicted this year when he knew the live TV cameras were following him. So he took the media on a road trip to meet with his supporters at the Versailles restaurant in Miami. Who promised to pay for everybody's food and then left without paying. The guy is a con artist with 91 criminal charges, 26 sexual assault allegations, six bankruptcies, five draft deferments, four criminal indictments, three baby mamas, two presidential impeachments, one company convicted, one fake university shut down, one fake foundation shut down, a $25 million fraud settlement, a $5 million sexual abuse verdict, and a $2 million charity abuse judgment against him. What rigor, excuse me, black person, could run for office with that record? You see, the larger issue here is racism. The only racial group to support Trump in his two elections were white people. Black voters, Latinos, Asian Americans, and all of the groups voted against him. And the reason why his predominantly white supporters continue to stand by him is because of his bigotry. It's a feature, not a bug. Which is why he tried to throw out millions of votes in the largely black cities of Atlanta, Detroit, Philadelphia, and Milwaukee after he lost the election in 2020. And when that didn't work, he sent his minions to the Capitol. It was never about election integrity. That's why he and 18 other Republicans were just indicted for election interference. Yes, that makes him the head rigger in charge.